good evening to the large crowd. Uh, this is the Planning and Zoning Commission, and we need to start with a roll call. Commissioner Fluno. Here. Commissioner Heidner. Here. Commissioner Nevitt. Here. And Chairman Morris. Here. Okay, we have a quorum. All right. Um, this evening we have a public hearing for case 2024-5, a petition requesting a special use permit for a children's recreation facility uh, at 122 Hawthorne Center, Unit 204. And who's going to speak for the petitioner? Hey. Hello. Can you let us How know you your name first? Uh, my name is Exxon Aliu. Okay. We ask you to raise your right hand and swear or affirm that this testimony you're about to give before this commission of the Village of Vernon Hills shall be the truth. I swear. All right. So with that, you are on. How you doing? Uh, my name is Exxon Aliu. Uh, I've been in Hawthorne Mall since 2012. I have a bakery, uh, Cinnabon, and also a children's place called Zoom Zone, where it's like a little scooters they rent and ride around the mall. I also used to have the train, but that closed down when the whole remodel stuff started, and now they might go back to normal, but that doesn't exist anymore, and I'm here to ask for permission to open an indoor uh, playground where uh, Jim Barry used to be. It was same as uh, maybe five years ago, it closed down. But uh, the structure and everything is gonna stay the same. Okay, anything you wanna add? From a staff standpoint, uh, this is procedurally is a special use. Uh, so the special use standards, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, the special use for Jim Barry, which did occupy this unit has expired uh, and, and the code requires uh, a new use, although similar, to, to uh, apply for and receive a special use permit uh, after the expiration of the prior special use. You have the staff report. Uh, there are a couple of items. Uh, this is purely interior uh, to the mall. Uh, just a couple of notes, mostly as reminders for permitting. Uh, food service permit will be required if there's a cafe. Uh, you're familiar with the county. Uh, the configuration of the structures would be subject to the review of the uh, Fire Protection District. I have spoken with them about it, showed them the plan. Uh, they didn't have any particular concern, and uh, did, uh, they mentioned that they had spoken with somebody. I would assume it was your Yeah, they also came there. I showed them the inside. I actually showed them this plan also. So by the picture, they approved it, but obviously they have to see it once it's built. Um, we'd also suggest that, uh, requiring background checks for the employees. That's yes. something that came from the uh, committee, the whole discussion uh, prior to uh, publishing for the public hearing. Um, and then there was just a suggestion uh, from the board again uh, regarding the, the standard, whatever the appropriate standard may be for uh, the safety of the equipment. So, uh, so that is the extent of the, the recommendation in the staff report. Yes, they're going to provide me the certifications from the company I'm buying from. So they said they'll send that with. Okay. Any questions, anybody? When we've reviewed similar proposals in the past, some of the questions we've asked is, is this a drop-off facility where you can leave your child? Uh, no, it's not. Parents will have to be there. Okay. It's not like a babysitting thing, no. And then the picture that was just up, I think it says on the screen that it's a rendering, because certainly it's not the space, because you can't enter your space from the side, right? So this is not really what it's going to look like? No, so where the, where the white spot here to the left, that's where the doors are. You walk in, and it's all open. It's a whole, it's like another 20 feet this way. That's just the actual play area side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. That's not the whole space, no. Yeah, so it's like this. Yeah, okay. And then for the cafe, uh, you mentioned the permanent stuff. Um, cafe, that's to be added, if anything, years after or the next year. But we just had that in wording in the lease just so, you know, we have that for future. Not to serve food, no. It would be beverages and refreshments and stuff like that, but not a whole, you know. Are you going to have birthday parties? Yes. So you're going to have food for birthday parties? Birthday parties, uh, we're going to buy from another place, like pizzas and stuff like that, that they would order, and then they can bring their own cake. But it's not going to be something that we make the pizzas there and everything. Okay. And if you... 
did expand to have a food area. Is it that area that says between the back room and the party area there? It's open there? So it could be there where I would make the food there and then bring it out, or it could be in front where, the, where it says party area because it's all open space. So we just put party area like because it's going to be open so they can either sit there or we have a private party room, which is the other one. So for the cafe part, like I said, you have to do talk to the public health and get equipment and everything like that if I start going right. Well, first we want to see if this will even, you know, do okay and I don't want to invest even more money that way. Mm -hmm. So I want to keep it as simple as possible just with an indoor playground and then we just put that in the contract so that I don't have my rent doesn't go higher or anything in the future. So the, the wording is there. So I would suggest, since there is some question as to when that might happen, um, if, if the commission would be in agreement, a, a condition of approval, just acknowledging that the cafe may be allowed without requiring a, an amendment to the, to the special use. And the bathrooms for this are? <clears throat> bathrooms, there's two uh, past that party room. There's two um, where it says office area and bat B, there's two of them. Okay. Right, right in the middle of that rear exit. Okay. But the rear exit is just an emergency exit or an employee exit? It's not for customers? I think when it's an emergency, I think they can exit that way too because right right but if it, normally that's not an yeah no for the public yeah the only it's the front entrance in and out for our customers okay. it's the same hours as the mall the general mall same oh. hours yes okay. okay anybody else okay okay number one we note that uh legal notice was published and we received no comments it appears from anybody that's number one. Number two, the standards for special use in 18.3 um, are provided in our packet and are part of our record for this meeting. Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, no, just, just want to, for the cafe part, I don't understand the, the part that you said is going to be added or not. I don't understand so, that. So uh, since you're not sure exactly when that might happen, if that occurs two years from now, uh, I want something on the record that you don't have to come back and ask for it. Okay. Uh, that's the suggestion. Just so you don't have to come back and see us again. Okay, I thought it was something <laughs> where it affect the approval or something like that. Okay. No, it would be just subject to permitting uh, and not an additional public review. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, this is a public hearing, so it seems meaningless, but we have to ask nonetheless whether anyone from the public <clears throat> would like to comment with respect to this request. Okay. Seeing no great rush to comment, we can close the public comment. Um, we have on this motion, on this commission, a standing motion to approve. So our motion would be to recommend approval and make findings of fact and recommend approval of a special use for a children's recreation facility for the property at 122 Hawthorne Center, Unit 204, um, pursuant to the business plan, timeout party in play, the unit location plan and play area rendering and the existing proposed floor plans subject to the conditions, which I think you've heard of one, a food service permit will be required uh, if you sell refreshments, two, configuration of the structure subject to review by the fire protection district, three, the business requi would require background checks for employees, four, uh, you will ensure that the play equipment is designed to meet an appropriate safety standard and is periodically inspected, and five, a cafe is allowed without additional approval from the Planning and Zoning Commission. Okay. Okay. I had a question about the periodic inspection. Is that by their staff or some other organization? So I think it would be by whatever standard uh, is identified. I think based on the age uh, that they're targeting, the type of play equipment, uh, from what I've read, there may be different standards. So without knowing exactly what that standard is, I'm leaving it to the petitioner to, to identify that and whatever the inspection schedule would be is, is uh, appropriate. It could be, even be the manufacturer in this case. Yeah, they're gonna give me certificates and then I also called like state of Illinois because for the train, for example, she used to come yearly before my permit ended. So like I got in December, I had to call a month ahead 
pay this fee, she would come look at the train working and everything is good, then she'll give me the permit. For this one, they said I would have, like, they kept taking me to different, you know, because I don't have any inflatables. That's what they kept asking. I was like, I don't have, because I talked to the owner with inflatables. For inflatables, you do have to pay one for each fee. They have $75, and they do come check the inflatables. For this one, the lady on the phone, and then I called another day, they said, we're just not sure. They kept asking me, do you have coins? Do you have inflatables? I said, no to both. You're good. So I thought you guys would be able to give me maybe some answer like that, but I'm still... So outside play equipment, when, it, when it's located outdoors, there are a few different standards. Uh, the one that I had referenced in here is an outdoor play structure standard. Uh, I don't know based on the height and the surface if that would be applicable for this. So I think we just need to double check. Um, and, and like I said, it may just be that the manufacturer certifies that it's okay. uh, designed to meet a certain standard. Yeah, no, I'm still going to you know, try to keep contact with them and see if it's if it's just a permit and they come check the structure and every, you know, make a walk through or whatever they need to do. But from a safety standpoint, isn't it inspected yearly by the fire department? The fire department will expect, inspect the unit. Right. So they, they will be there. Yes. Yep. Okay. All right. So wait, wait, I guess. Going. Will that be a yearly thing or? Not sure I really understood. Stood. Who's doing the inspection? So we're not. We don't know for sure right now. So the manufacturer may provide some sort of certificate that it's designed to a certain standard. Um, like like uh, the petitioner just noted, even the state seemed to be somewhat unclear as to exactly what applies to this. So um, by the time they are open, we would hope to be able to, to sort out exactly what applies. It, it, it may just be that the manufacturer uh, provides a certificate that it was designed to a certain standard. So that's not an inspection, really. That's just a certification the, up front. The inspection may be an employee-based inspection of that, in that uh, matter. Plus the early fire department inspection. Yes, they will. The fire department will be in the unit for sure. Okay. Okay. All right. So we need a second for that standing motion. A second. Okay. Any discussion? All right. Well, then we need a roll call. Commissioner Heidner. Yes. Commissioner Funo. Yes. Commissioner Nabbitt? Yes. And Chairman Morris? Yes. All right. This goes to the board next, I assume? We will package the recommendation of the Planning and Zoning Commission up and send it back to the board. Uh, they typically will review it as a committee of a whole again. Um, depending on how the meeting timing works out, we may uh, combine the discussion and the vote in the same meeting. So I'll be in touch with you about exactly how that works, but uh, June 4th would be the earliest date that we could uh, prepare the, the recommendation for them. And I have to be here for June 4th? You do have to be June here. 4th. There, there is a meeting. Um, if you can't make June 4th, we could talk about the next meeting, which would be two weeks later. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Right. Good, luck. Good night. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Next, we have approval of the minutes of March 6th. 2024. Any thoughts or comments on those? If not, a motion to approve. Do you need a second? I'll second. Okay, we do it by acclamation. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Okay, those are passed. Then we have development review. I don't have very much new uh, this time around compared to uh, uh, we met a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. um, uh, mostly it's just a different graphic that says a lot of the same things. So uh, in the time since we last met, Perry's is open officially. Um, Lovesack has officially opened. Uh, the other... Um, uh, Where is that? Lovesack is in Hawthorne Row. Um, so this first uh, set here are all things that are uh, new to the mall. Um, Sephora is under construction, Anthropology is under construction, uh, First Watch, which is a, um, it is in between Perry's and Yard House. So uh, they had mentioned during the public hearing that they were looking for a breakfast place to be complementary to the hours of the two uh, more dinner-oriented uh, <coughs> restaurants to the north and south of them. Um, and they, they did have, uh, they were fortunate to find a, uh, a breakfast uh, restaurant that I think closes at 2.30 generally um, and is expanded. I can't remember exactly how many they have, but I think they're in the 500 to 700 range uh, nationally now. So It's awesome. Um, it's different. Yeah. I love First Watch. 
So that is the, um, that's the mall notes. Uh, some of these are not that new. This was something I had prepared for a, a Chamber of Commerce event. So some of these aren't, aren't very new to you. Um, but uh, Wild Fork notably has opened. Uh, Kava, uh, which is in the unit adjacent to Wild Fork, um, they did go back to the board to do another minor change uh, to the paint color. Um, and that, uh, that was reviewed and approved uh, last night. So um, I believe, I don't think there's anything that's new, new. Um, since there was Harbor Freight going? Oh, Harbor Freight is in the unit adjacent to the pickleball. Um, the former, oh, okay. the former pet store? Is, yes. is, that, is that pickleball opening? Uh, they, it's a, so it's a different, a different owner. Different owner. Uh, Ace Pickleball uh, is, is taking over. Um, we don't have a date on that one yet. And I heard Jameson's is closing. Jameson's and, is uh, closing. Um, my kids love. Really? So that's on my next slide, actually, or one of my next slides. Um, okay. The, uh, some of my other notes, the domain occupancy is um, at 60%, possibly up as high as 65% now. Uh, the yard house permit is near issuance. Um, we had a, a concept discussion uh, with the uh, Lincolnshire Riverwoods Fire Protection District uh, is, is planning to consolidate two stations, uh, 51 and 53, into a single headquarters station, which would be uh, their proposed location is um, uh, to purchase uh, about two acres at the south end of Ernie's on Apple Orchard and, and Milwaukee. So they've had their initial concept discussion with the board uh, and, and they're in the technical review phase right now. Um, the uh, Raising Canes um, has been looking for a location in town for a while. The, their preferred location at the moment is Jameson's. The owner of Jameson's uh, informed the board at a concept review that they are um, uh, closing a few locations to sort of focus on a smaller number, and they do intend to close this location. So it is not a choice of Jameson's versus Raising Canes. Jameson's appears to be closing either way. Um, and so Raising Canes presented uh, an initial concept review and they're moving into technical review uh, at this point. Will that come in front of us? It will, yeah. It is a, it's a special use for a drive-through in the B1 district. I'm thinking I assume the increase in traffic, there is no signal coming out of that. There is no signal coming out of that. That was one of the main points at the concept yeah. review. And, um, you know, worth watching if you have some what, what about yard? A half hour to kill. Yard house for sure. Yard house is for sure. It's it's in permit review right now. So construction starting this summer. We we would anticipate that. Yeah, they had an open date of March next year, which I, I don't think is possible at this point. Uh, a little ambitious, but uh, we still do expect that to come uh, pretty soon. It's sad about Dom's. Womp womp. Yeah, it didn't make the uh, development review notes, but yeah. But I guess that did happen so, since our last meeting. I, know. I was like, oh. Was it the, the closing or whatever? Oh, yeah. Overnight. Yeah. They totally shut down. And the food's still in the stores, which is very nice. <laughs> My son told me. <laughs> so the racing cane, would that take up the entire building that Jameson's They would in? tear down the building. They're going to oh, tear it down? Wow. Yes. Oh, So it would be a really big racing cane. Have they been looking at any other locations? That did come up during the review. This appears to be their their preferred location. They'd like to to carry this one through the technical review and and um, planning and zoning. Because the amount of people trying to make a left hand turn out of that parking lot to get back to sixty. I, I do think it's worth watching the the meeting. It it was um it was the focus of the discussion. Oh, it was in the committee of the whole. Committee okay. the committee of the whole. That was the uh, the focus of the discussion. Where's the barbecue one on the fire slate? I don't even know. Or two slides. So Smoke and Deal Barbecue is, oh, yeah. so we had, uh, if you'll remember, we had a uh, we had two businesses oh, the at the same time in, in the okay. 1000 Butterfield. Okay. Uh, Smoke and Deal is open and it is fantastic. Um, if you have any interest in not just grilling, but out, outdoor entertainment, mm -hmm. they have all kinds of really great stuff in there. Is this the, is this the um, one on, on, on Butterfield? Mm -hmm. They also have, they do have some rare meats and things too, so not to, not necessarily competing with wild pork, it's not close enough, but. <laughs> um, but is, it, is it primarily like, like grills and equipment and like it that is type of stuff? It is anything that you could think of. They have, um, for example, they have a, 
uh, outdoor uh, beverage service cart that you plug in and basically wheel a refrigerator out to your patio. Uh, they have televisions that are designed for outdoor use. Um, they have all kinds of different uh, grills, smokers. It's a uh, demonstration, retail. It's, kind of it, it is, it's worth going in and, huh. and just taking a look. You there's, wouldn't there's expect. There's a similar in Wilmette's that. The, he in he had mentioned that during, I think the, the hearing for this one may have predated you. He had mentioned yep, that yeah. he's friends with them. <laughs> I think I came to that one. In okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so no, no more rentals um, for the new stores? I mean, where Free People is going and... Uh, uh, we've got two that are in discussion that are not public yet. Got it. I think there's oh, the American Hotel. I think the entire demolition of that building happened since we last met. It's gone. Yeah. Um, oh, I didn't even see it happen. <laughs> but with no like, uh, new user or anything? They, we, have, we have met with the buyer. Uh, they do own it. Um, the office building was not part of any development concept that they had. So. Um, they have uh, viewed it as sort of addition by subtraction. Well, they kept the warehouse, though, right? They did keep okay. the warehouse. There is a, a there is a tenant or two in the warehouse. Oh, but eventually that will get redeveloped. Yeah. Sometime. Hmm. Okay. Any other questions for for me? Um, not to <clears throat> knock somebody's success, but. I noticed that at Gardenberry, they're parking on the lawn, we, and they actually have a sign encouraging it. We have um, we have attempted to reach out to them. Uh, there was also a uh, we last fall there was a, uh, a request to review how their uh, accessible parking was handled as well. So both of those things are are on our radar and and uh, under review. It's an improvement over buddies with the unpaved lot. That <laughs> yeah, when they were for yes. us. I know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I really do appreciate all of you responding today. We we had a sort of last minute question, and, um, and like I had mentioned in the email, um, since we always communicate by blind copying to avoid an accidental uh, Open Meetings Act violation. Uh, the downside of that is that you don't see each other's responses and we, yeah. uh, we got a bunch of maybes. So okay. uh, I, I appreciate you all uh, confirming again last minute today. Okay. And there's nothing for the old chili still? Nothing for the old chili still. Or the valleys. Or the, One, valleys. Or the valleys. Yeah, valleys. Yeah, the the valleys. Valleys. Okay. valleys. Yeah, we got them to cut the grass. So. Okay. Great. All right. Okay. When are the cicadas coming? They're here. They're here. They just haven't started mating yet. Oh. Right. Okay. Okay. If there's nothing else. We've motion to adjourn. We need a second. Second. All in favor of that? Aye. Yep. Anybody Aye. opposed? We are adjourned. Good night. Before you exit. Uh, I